Okay, so Nintendo has created a global test fire beta for um, Splatoon. Now, what's interesting about this beta is that um, apparently you can only play it on certain days and only at certain intervals of time. You know, you can't play it like, you know, a, the Titanfall beta or the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta, though it's not out yet. You know, it's not like a normal beta where you got the whole entire weekend or maybe a couple of days or maybe four or five days to try it out. No, you know, you're kind of stuck with the days they say and the times that you're allowed to actually play it. So pretty much you're, uh, yeah, that, that, that's very inconvenient because let's just say you happen to be, um, at work and the time to actually play test it is during your time at work odds are you're not gonna be able to touch the game until you're done at work or if you're busy doing something out of the house yeah well guess what you ain't gonna be able to touch it until you get back home and that time period will have ended um, for me I, I think and this sounds very obvious you know you should have just made it into kinda like uh, a steam free weekend thing you know and or or just a normal beta because the way it is right now you know the segments of time and whatnot it, it sounds utterly stupid I, I I don't understand it I've sat here and kind of just for the second time face palmed at Nintendo's uh, choice or decision and it's like really you, you've seen other companies do this. You've seen Steam do free weekends where they can literally... You can play a whole... Play the game for the weekend. And, you know, most online-only games do just show up in the Steam free weekend because... Uh, or games with online components. You know, they show up in the Steam free weekend and you can just try it out for the weekend and if you like, you can buy it. You know, and seeing Splatoon is a... Um, online only game would it hurt just to make it a whole weekend ordeal you know just allow people to play it for the whole weekend and then just kind of um you know after that just kind of end it you know or do it like a normal freaking beta and have it like for like five days or whatnot and actually um let people properly play test the freaking game and you know stress out the servers properly rather than you know doing it only in intervals because in my personal opinion, it, it, this sounds like it's not going to go over well at all. And, you know, my experience with betas is that though the beta will probably run smooth as butter and, you know, it'll look great when the game comes out for some weird fucked up reason. The game just is broken and you're just sitting there like, what? Like, why? It, it ran well in the beta. Why is it running like shit now? You know, that's kind of like, you know... Uh, the watchdogs thing. Oh, it looks so great in the E3 2011, I think, trailer, 2012 trailer. I don't know. I don't know when the, that freaking trailer came out. And then it comes out on PC and Xbox One and PS4. It, it looks like garbage. It, it doesn't look anything like it did. And it, it's kind of like the same th thing here with betas, except uh, <laughs> it was tested and it still runs like crap. So. I, I don't know how exactly this is going to work out. I, it, it would, why not just make it a normal beta like all the other games or just do like a Steam free weekend thing of the sort and just make it for the whole weekend and not just this interval crap. But apparently that's what Nintendo wants to do with their game and I suppose that's what they, they, they somehow they might see something in there. I don't. But for me it just seems kind of odd but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um i will be uploading more today see you guys later